All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're looking at dudes posting their W's, okay? One of the greatest skimming accounts ever created. Very wholesome moments from the internet. Just guys having astronomical dubs, becoming engineers, going to space, getting married, losing weight, dude, all kinds of stuff. Helping the homeless, feeding people, inventing things, dude. All the dubs guys have ever done have been documented on this account. So make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy these videos and let's begin. Again. Rancher Frank Reynolds survives on beer for two days after getting pinned under his ATV. Holy moly. What an absolute tank, dude. God damn. At Peter Crouch, I've never laughed so much first thing in the morning. Driving to a course than I have than the last couple of days listening to your podcast. Some of the stories are just brilliant. What do you expect here? Him to be like, oh, cheers. Uh, really enjoyed making it. Thanks for the feedback. Enjoy your course, fella. Cheers. Really enjoyed making it. Thanks for the feedback. Enjoy your your course fella you think people will respond moron that's what you get for being negative nancy a really wholesome interaction tom brown retired engineer has saved around 1200 types of apples from extinction over 25 years you're telling me this guy is one of the reasons i can have a variety of apples hell yeah dude i love this guy a perfect farewell touching photo show man taking his dying pet labradoodle 10 up his favorite mountain on one last walk with the aid of a wheelbarrow my guy out here experiencing nature for the last time okay this one says did you know a 15 year old boy named tamar boggs chased a car on his bike for 15 minutes to save a five-year-old girl who's kidnapped from her front yard he was successful let's go i saw it as a chance to make him feel more comfortable this dad spent 30 hours getting his torso tattooed to help show his son that he can be proud of his birthmark yo that's some dedication vacation man damn my 90 year old grandma made me a vest to wear to parties and yes it's amazing let's go almost six years ago before my dad passed he gave my sister this ten dollar bill to give it to me on my 21st birthday so he could buy me my first beer Cheers, Pops, having this one for you. Giving you a beer from beyond the grave, man. Need a generic father figure for backyard BBQ. Two interested individuals will be throwing a backyard BBQ on June 17th to celebrate beer and each other. We range in age from 21 to 26, and while most of us know how to operate a grill, none of us are prepared to fill the role of BBQ dad. That being said, we are in need of a generic father figure from 4 p.m. to about 8 p.m. PM, though you may stay the full duration of the party. Duties include grilling hamburgers and hot dogs while drinking beer, bringing your own grill. Though this is subject to change, we will provide all of the meat. Refer to all attendees as big guy, chief, sport, champ while drinking beer. Talk about dad things like lawnmowers, building your own deck, Jimmy Buffett, uh, funny anecdotes are highly encouraged all while drinking beer, okay. Desired experience a minimum of 18 years experience as a father, a minimum of 10 years growing experience and appreciation of a nice cold beer on a hot summer day we can't pay you in money but we can give you all the food and cold beer your heart desires grill for a few hours then sit back and crack open a few cold ones with the boys this is a real ad do not hesitate to call if you're interested preference will be given to applicants named bill randy or dave and then some dads actually showed up okay this is this is so wholesome oh my god i went for a walk and saw this man taking a picture of all his dogs and i almost cried yo the dogs just chilling hell yeah bro and my guy taking a snapping picture my dog was declared cancer free today so i'm reverse searing him a steak the real mvp the old 226 pound pre heart attack me versus the new 165 badass me turning your life around dude hell yeah gabriel 19 with his mom and sister right after he found out that he'd passed Brazil's famously difficult university entrance exam. This young man had to cut a deal with the prep course to clean the building in exchange for free classes to help him prepare for the exam. Damn, dude. You can see the raw emotion even from the picture. Here's one story that I will definitely tell to my children. How I paid my law school fees by working as a taxi driver. Now that it is all done, I can only look back and smile. I've done over 90,000 kilometers in this little beast. God is 
has always kept me safe and determined journey on now that is a sweet ride right there last month my cat disappeared a week ago i found him and i brought him home today my cat came back now i have two identical cats okay that's kind of weird you couldn't identify your own cat but also they look exactly the same ron howard brought this 1970 volkswagen bug new in 1970 it was his first car and he still owns and drives it the most fun thing i have is my first car a 1970 volkswagen beetle is a car i courted my wife in so every once in a while when we go out and neck in it okay <laughs> Day one at the gym, I'm ready to change my life. Very wholesome. I need to start day one at the gym, dude. Goddamn. <laughs> this is Tom, and he's seven years old. One day, he told his schoolmates that his uncle was Superman. The other kids made fun of him, and no one believed him. Then his mother made a call, and she asked her brother-in-law to take him to school one day. And Henry Cavill, I think that's how you say it, of course, was delighted to do so. Let's go, Superman! Three years ago today, I spent my last day homeless on the streets of San Francisco. And, uh, okay. Uh, recovery has given me a new life. I'm free. Local museum posts image of a 1965 school desk inscribed with Benny and Linda. Benny responds in comments. Yeah, I carved that sitting in the auditorium of Central High School for my freshman year before leaving for LaSalle. Linda and I are still together after having three wonderful girls and 50 years of marriage. Told my friends in fourth grade I was gonna marry Linda, and here we are heading for 51 years together on August the 1st. Smartest thing I ever did in my life was marry this kind and pretty lady. Thanks for sharing. Man, some people just have the most incredible stories. Hello, it is Future Pegasus here. A little bit angry, but honestly, I was angry for a bit and now I'm kinda over it. Essentially, this was a video that I reacted to. It was a pretty long clip and it was really wholesome, like the dog is wagging its tail and it like shows up at the window to greet its owner is really awesome but youtube be youtube and this tiktok was actually copyrighted by this group called viral hog and completely destroyed my video so yeah uh i had to remove it so all you see is this one screenshot but also it kind of sends the message boy reunited with one year lost dog very wholesome oh my god she actually did it wife with the best early birthday present in the history of forever i love you honey oh it's a urinal hell yeah dude be me, dead end job, no hope to improve, relationship with girlfriend failing, socially awkward, can't make new friends, sit in rooms, smoking pot, and drinking and sucking games, finds out girlfriend is pregnant, no option for plan B, I'm going to be a dad. She gives me a chance to leave, but I decide to stick it out as my dad was a useless freak and I don't want to be the same. Fast forward nine months, baby boy, make decision, I'm gonna get my shit together for the boy, actually get my shit together, I have to do it for him, manage to get plumbing apprenticeship lined up, good starting rate too. Find a good house that my family move into, watch some YouTube and some redneck teaches me to build a swing set, stop smoking, drinking, start eating healthy, waking up every, uh, waking up early every morning to make boy breakfast and lunches for family before I leave for work, better around the house relationships actually improving, going to gym, getting fitter and healthier, randos at gym have been asking me for advice to improve, boy always waiting for me and I get home with a big smile, makes me so happy, boy getting big and strong, his first word was daddy, life's getting so good, this kid was actually Actually the best gift life could have given me. I actually enjoy waking up now. Dude, people really out here turning around their entire life, man. Inspirational turn around your life right after this video, but you better watch it first. <laughs> The world's most premature baby has celebrated his first birthday after beating 0% odds of survival. Wait, what? My guy beat 0%? This is, this is unheard of. A baby born weighing less than a pound has beaten the odds and celebrated his first birthday. Colossal dub, big man. It seemed like something fun to do. She started to cry. Teen buys repossessed storage units, gives contents back to owners. Oh my god, Jesus Christ is actually real. Roy Sullivan, a former National Park Ranger, holds the Guinness World Record for being the person hit by lightning the most. Okay, that's just unlucky, man. Roy was struck seven separate times between 1942 and 1977. He lived to tell about it. The odds of this are mind-bogglingly high. I swear to god, this guy must have been arguing with Zeus or something. 
and do Thunderbolt it every like five seconds. What are you, Ash? Catch him. The seventh time it happened, Roy was out fishing on a pond when lightning hit him on the head. Roy was badly burned, but he managed to get his boat back to shore and drag himself back to his car. Before he could get in his car, a bear came out of the woods and decided to attack him and steal his fish. Roy, having had quite enough for one day, was able to fight off the bear with a stick. The odds of getting hit by lightning and then successfully fighting off a bear with a stick are, well, probably incalculable. I had a stroke trying to read that, but also, Roy, dude, Jesus Christ, life has put you through the ringer. Look at the absolute chat over here, dude. Dad designed shoes to give his paralyzed daughter the sensation of walking. Okay, okay, man, this is just... This is too awesome. EJ is 18. He told me he has been homeless for 11 years. EJ update, no longer homeless. His eyes tell a story. You can tell he's seen a miracle and is eternally grateful. Be me, be loser who drives a delivery van all day. Work is freaking boring. Get new puppy, puppy sad when I go to work. Have idea, I will take puppy to work with me. Next day, put puppy in van. Puppy sits shotgun all day, does not piss or poop in cab. Take puppy to park during lunch break. Puppy waits patiently while I make deliveries. Drive home, realize work was fun with my little puppy buddy. Never had this much enjoyment of work. Thank you, puppy. My son was having nightmares after watching The Lion King, so I painted him a portrait of me absolutely starching the evil lion. Okay, this is such a dad move, dude. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for dudes posting their W's. Hope you guys did enjoy. This was absolutely fantastic fantastic so wholesome i will do these episodes once in a while so stick around on the channel subscribe and yeah have a wonderful day ahead i'll see you guys next time stay awesome